Well, girls from around Montana got hands-on experiences in science, technology, engineering, and math today. MTN's Jonathan and Barron reports on what organizers hope the students will take away from the STEM Roundup. More than 100 5th through 8th grade girls came to Helena Saturday for a closer look at the STEM fields. Exploration Works held its 7th annual Girls STEM Roundup at Carroll College. We want girls to be exposed to a wide range of STEM careers, um, not just scientists, biologists, but also what is it like to be a mathematician, an engineer, and how they kind of all work together, all the STEM fields work together. The event began with a live video presentation from Marissa Gorky, a research associate at Palmer Station in Antarctica. So it was a great chance for girls to see or learn about a career they maybe never thought about. After that, the girls broke up into workshops where they tried out activities that ranged from engineering to health to computing. In many cases, they worked with women with experience in those fields. They get to do hands-on activities to kind of learn about what those professionals do on a regular basis and how they solve problems and how you use a STEM to solve problems. Organizers say this is an important age for girls to be exposed to STEM. A lot of times when girls are in middle school age, they start to lose interest in science or they feel like they're maybe not as strong as, as the boys in their class. So to build confidence and give them the skills now when they're in middle school will really help them in high school and in college. They hope the Roundup can show girls all the ways they can use those skills. I hope girls just get a chance to see all what STEM is all about and all the different fields that are available so they can start to think about their future. And also just to think like a scientist, to, to ask questions and be critical thinkers. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. The STEM Roundup wrapped up this afternoon with several science demonstrations.